Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. Today's sequence is nice and short. It's perfect for when you want to wake up, get those little sticky bits moving, but can be done anytime. Let's make a start straight away. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. And let's begin with the feet hip distance apart and parallel underneath the hips. And then let's bring the palms and hands together into your prayer in front of the chest, letting the elbows drop down. And if it feels comfortable to do so, closing down the eyes just for a few moments, letting the weight drop down into the feet, feeling the length up through the crown of the head, tailbone dropping down, finding the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And starting to lengthen into the breath as well. And then let's open up the eyes, release the arms down by your side. Press down through the feet and reach the arms out to the side, taking a big inhale, hooking the thumbs, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling, letting those lower ribs draw in, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, side bend over to the right, pressing down through the outer edge of that left foot. And then take an inhale, come back up through center, side bend to the left keeping those lower ribs in, keeping the shoulders stacked one on top of the other, and then inhale, center. One more time to the right, and let's hold it here for a couple of breaths now. Muscles at the base of the neck relaxing away from the ears. And then think about pressing down through the outer edge of that left foot. Maybe your eyes can look up towards that left upper arm, towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Both hip bones, both shoulders pointing forward. Take one more inhale, stay for the exhale, see if there's any more space, and then inhale, coming back up to center. Release the arms, take the arms up to shoulder height. Right arm underneath, left arm on top, wrapping the arms around, coming into your eagle arms or taking hold of the shoulders if it feels too hard to wrap. Take an inhale to lift the elbows up, lift the eyes. As you exhale, bend through the knees and fold forward into your Uttanasana. Letting the arms be heavy. Relax the back of the neck. If it gets too much with the arms together, you can always release them. And if possible, just keeping them here, opening up through that upper mid back. Easy breathing. Taking one more inhale. And then as you exhale, keep the arms as they are, bend through the knees and take a spinal roll up, drawing the knees, uh, the belly in towards the spine as you come up and then release those arms down. Take the arms out to the side, inhaling, hooking the thumbs once again. Draw the lower ribs in, reach the fingertips up, inhale, exhale, side bend to the left, pressing down through the outer edge of that right foot, and then inhale, center, side bend to the right. One more time, inhale, center, exhale to the left, holding it here now. Imagine you're in between two panes of glass, so you really want to try to avoid that either rolling forward with that top shoulder um, or just the hips can sometimes go back. So shoulders and hips pointing forward, maybe the eyes look up past that top arm. Keep breathing. Take one more inhale, stay for the excess if there's any more space and then inhale, coming back up through center, release the arms. Take the arms up to shoulder height. Left arm underneath, right arm on top, wrapping the arms around. Take an inhale, lift the elbows up, and then exhale, bend through the knees. Forward fold into your Uttanasana. Letting the arms hang. Back of the neck, relax. One more full breath. And then releasing the arms here, take an inhale into your halfway lift. You can bring your hands onto the shin bones, drawing the kneecaps up to strain the legs for a moment. And then exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands down. So you can toe heel the feet out a little bit wider than the hips. And then sitting down into your malasana squat. Let's begin by bringing the palms and hands together, pressing the elbows out into the inner thighs, lengthening up through the spine. Just allowing the hips to be heavy as you lift up through the crown of the head. 
Now let's hook that right upper arm a little bit more underneath the leg, place the right hand down and peel open that left arm, twisting up towards the ceiling, looking towards the left hand with the eyes. Open breathing. And then taking another inhale, exhale, swapping it around, hooking that left upper arm down, palm comes down, peel open that right hand, looking up towards that right thumb. Taking one more inhale, exhale, bringing both hands down, place the hands down and then just shift the weight to the hands so you can rotate the feet back to your um, parallel position for a moment. Take an inhale to lengthen out through the spine. As you exhale, step that left foot back, just starting in your uh, lizard with the knee off to begin with. Shoulder heads back, sternum reaching forward, just hugging that right knee in towards the right shoulder. Charging up that back leg, pressing the back of the left thigh up towards the ceiling. Take one more inhale and then exhale. Drop the knee down, but keep the left toes tucked under for a moment. So breathing into the front of that left hip. As you exhale, just notice if there's any space to allow that left hip to sink a bit further down towards the mat. And then release the top of the left foot down. And you can either stay here or if it feels okay to do so, coming down onto the forearms. Keep hugging that right knee in towards uh, the right shoulder. Maybe that right hip sinks down a little bit closer towards the mat. Last breath. Coming back up onto the hands, tuck the back toes under, stepping forward to the outside of that left hand. Inhale into your halfway lift and then exhale, bend into that left leg, step that right leg back. Starting here, back knee off. Pressing the back of the right thigh up towards the ceiling as you reach the right heel back. Hugging the front of the body up towards the back body. Open breathing. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, drop that right knee down, keeping the back toes tucked under. Feeling into that right uh, hip flexor. And noticing if there's any space to allow that right hip to drop a little bit further down towards the mat. This particularly on the exhale. And then let's release the top of the right foot down and either you can stay here or come down onto the forearms. Keep hugging that left knee in towards the left shoulder. And then coming back up onto the hands, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee off, stepping forward to the outside of that right hand, bring the hands a bit further forward and let's bring the feet together. If you can side by side or slightly apart is fine. We're gonna bend into the knees, bring the hands forward and come all the way down to a seated position. Use your hands if you need to. And then shift the heels a little bit further away. Keep those arms up at shoulder height. So we're coming into a half Navasana here. So bringing the legs up so the shins are parallel with the mat. If it gets too much, you can pop the heels down, keep lifting up through the lower back, draw the navel in. And maybe for some of us, bringing the legs all the way to straight. Looking towards the big toes, keep breathing. Shoulders away from the ears. For three, four, two, four, one. Nice work. Bring the feet down. Bring the soles of the feet together. Coming into your Baddha Konasana and just coming right up onto the sitting bones, drawing the heels in towards the groin. Using the hands just to open out the feet for a moment. And then take the left hand to the outside of the right foot, right hand behind you, take an inhale and exhale, twisting to the right, looking over towards the right shoulder. So both sitting bones down, long through both sides of the waist, taking one more inhale, lengthen up as you exhale. See if there's any more space to twist. And then inhale through centre, go the other way. Right hand to the outside of the left foot, left hand behind you. 
looking over towards that left shoulder. Thinking about dropping the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening out through both sides of the waist, right side of the body twisting to the left. Taking one more inhale, lengthen up. As you exhale, see if there's any space to twist a bit more. And then inhale, coming back to centre. And then let's start to walk the hands forward, just to where you can. And gently pressing the feet together, particularly the outer edges of the feet. You might find as we stay here, just for another couple of breaths, you might have a bit more space to come a bit further forward. And then inhale, walking the hands back up, extending the legs out long. Make sure you've got enough space to roll down onto your back. Press down through the backs of the legs, arms up at shoulder height. Inhale, exhale to draw the navel in and rolling all the way down, all the way down into your Shavasana. Open the legs out, letting the feet fall away from one another. Arms a little bit away from the body. Closing down the eyes when you're ready. So with each exhale, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. Relaxing the muscles of the face, releasing the jaw. Allowing yourself to rest for a couple of minutes.